So when creating storyboard designer, we realized that one thing we really wanted to make sure that we did was integrate with the true life cycle of how a user interface is developed. One of these key pieces is realizing that most UIs always start at Adobe's Photoshop. No matter who's doing it, the UI designer, the graphic artist, they, they drop their sketches inside of Photoshop. So we decided why not have them move smoothly and seamlessly from Photoshop right into Storyboard Designer. So we decided let's add the functionality to be able to import a Photoshop PSD file into our system. So if we move over here to Adobe's Photoshop, we can see here my UI designer has created me a nice looking user interface and he's actually put everything into groups here and so groups are a nice way for us to map functionality to layers inside of Storyboard Designer. The layers inside of Photoshop and the layers inside of Storyboard Designer don't map one to one mainly because in Storyboard Designer we use layers as groupings of functionality where in Photoshop most UI designers or graphic artists use a separate layer for every single piece they every piece of artwork that's inside the system. So what we want to do is sort of group the layers inside of Photoshop to a bit of a higher level functionality piece. So we're going to use their grouping. So inside here you can see that we've grouped things like the music player. So if I hide the music player you see everything to do with the music player is hidden. Same with the top bar, the bottom bar, and the lower menu icons. So now we can actually take this Photoshop file and move over to Storyboard Designer and if we come here we can simply go to file import under storyboard development you can see there's Photoshop PSD file so select next come into here we put the path to our PSD file that we're doing I'll call it PSD sample and then you can see there's a couple other options here if I already had a project inside my workspace that I wanted to bring these images into I can select that project or if I only wanted the images out of it, maybe I'm doing a project that is a different shape, a uh, different width and height than the one that the artist gave me, but I still want to use the images inside there, I can just say import images only. So here we go next, and then you keep the color depth the standard default. We hit finish, and we see that we're pulling the PSD file right into our workspace. So if we look here, right inside of our workspace, we have the exact look and feel that we saw inside of Photoshop. So all the different pieces are brought in. If we look at our layers view, you'll see that the layers here are identical to what we had inside of inside of Adobe's Photoshop. We can also move over here to our layer editor view to see them all individually. So if I open this up and shrink it down a little bit, we can see all the different layers that I was turning on and off before. So you can see that bottom bar, the top bar, the music player, the background, and there was a default black background on everything. So if we come back into our screen editor view, we can actually start working with this right now without having to spend our time getting all the different images, pulling them in. We can just start naming the screen. So I could change this over to be our, our main landing screen. And you can see all the layers I want are right there immediately to get going with.